In this lesson, I want to discuss the vascular nature of the kidney. We'll look at the, both the arteries and the veins as they come uh, into the kidney or away from the kidney. And we'll begin first with the arteries and then move to the veins. Uh, we'll remind ourselves as we come into arteries, the arteries will come to the kidney, bring blood that needs to be filtered as it were turned back into the system. So we will come in crossing over here near the renal sinus area of the large artery known as the renal artery. So I can color it in, draw it in as we try to imagine the renal artery coming into the kidney, uh, supplying the kidney. And if we have a blockage here, we can have uh, nephritis, a uh, kidney that goes necrotic. And this will come in uh, bringing the blood inwards. The second one we want to come off, we have a large renal artery, but we can have a segmental artery passing inside the kidney. The segmental artery. And the segmental artery in this case we have is the first branch coming off, the first little segment coming off the kidney as it comes over this area here known as the uh, renal sinus or the renal pelvis coming down in the renal over top of the renal pelvis as this will give off branches it will then pass between and just as a marker sake i'm going to put a couple of red dots it will pass between these two structures in between this line that I'm drawing here, and I'll erase those in just a moment, but that will depict what we are calling a renal lobe. As we pass between these, I'm going to color it in blue, we become, or green here, we become a interlobar artery going between the lobes in green. Now if I move to blue, we will cross over top of the renal pyramids, in an arc, and we become the arcuate arteries. And you will see arcuate arteries, they will be over top of every, at the, uh, the tops here of every renal pyramid, here just underneath the renal cortex. And they will emerge on top here. Now, so we actually can put, if you wanted to look in here, between each and every one of these, there are interlobar arteries. Coming off of these, which I'm going to depict as orange, are cortical radiate arteries. They will radiate into the adrenal cortex. And these become very important because what you will find here is where the afferent and efferent arterioles will associate as they will come into the glomerular capsules and uh, begin filtration of the kidney. So the red is the uh, renal artery, the purple is the segmental artery, the green is the interlobar arteries, the blue is the arcuate arteries, and the orange is the cortical radiate arteries. So if we want to take ourselves and look for other uh, for the veins, well, we follow the same thing, and I want to erase these off so we can use this as a little lesson to try to study some complex anatomy. However, this time I'm going to use blue, and we're going to come in with a renal vein. And the renal vein. Now, there's a little bit of differences here. Now, we know that the renal vein, depending on the side of the kidney that you're on, will be longer or shorter, depending on if it's a left or right kidney. But at this point, we're not really concerning ourselves with this. We're just looking at where the vessels go. Now, we continue on essentially all the way here with renal artery because there is no segmental artery uh, for the kidneys. So they're in segmental veins. So the vein goes all the way here. So we do not change the name of this blood vessel as we are in the kidneys. So in this case, we can use a red here as we come off. And as we pass between the individual renal lobes, we are in for lobar vein. I can use purple in this case to go arcuate veins. And arcuate veins, again, they will be in juxtaposition to the arcuate arteries in close proximity as we can get this filtrate, the filtered blood, out of the kidney. 
And then lastly, and this time I'm going to use green, and we show our, again, our cortical radiate veins. And they'll associate with the glomerular capsule. And this is how the blood, when we're coming with the efferent arterioles, coming in to take the uh, filter, the filtrate out. As we get that eventually from the collecting ducts and all the blood as it comes through, as we filter that out, produce filtrate to get into the loop of Henley to get it out of the collecting, into the uh, collecting ducts. Uh, and remember, when it leaves uh, to filtrate that, uh, those blood vessels, when they leave that blood, it comes back, it gets back into the vena cava, so the renal vein Vein and blue will go back into the vena cava, into the red, into the interlobar veins, purple arcuate veins, green, the interlobular veins, or in, or the cortical radiate veins. We can use both names for those structures. And this concludes my simple little video on drawing out the blood vessels that we find in our kidney.